Hello, beautiful people. It's another day. I'm going to make another video, and I know nobody's going to see these for two years until I've made a bazillion of them, and then YouTube will start blasting them out, and so be it. And I've got poison ivy all over me, and there's lawnmowers nearby, but what the heck? One cannot let this stop them from moving forward. Today, carrying on from the last video I made about the law of units, which I will rem remind you, the law of units is you can... Ah! only add and subtract i didn't mention that but you can only add and subtract numbers with the same units and what i want to talk about today is this helps to explain how we add and subtract numbers which you probably know how to do but you possibly were just taught the procedure and not given the meaning behind it um, you probably know that when we do something like 324 plus 261, you add the 4 and the 1, you get 5. The 2 and the 6, you 8. The 3 and the 2, you get 5. But what's really happening is this is 300s plus plus two tens plus four ones, and we're adding to that 200s plus plus six tens plus one one. And this is why we add the ones to the ones, the tens to the tens, the hundreds to hundreds, because they act like units. And I'm not going to even finish this one. But if the number had been something like just 61, um, this is a common mistake for kids. They think that, you know, everybody tells them to line things up. On the left, they think that 324 plus 61 might be lined up like that, but it doesn't because this is six tens and this is three hundreds, and three hundreds plus six tens is the arithmetic equivalent of a polynomial, a multiple number thing. It's 360. It's not nine of anything. Um, However, we can also use this to explain something like uh, 273 plus uh, 84, where you say 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, carry the 1, the 3. A lot of people say that, you know, carry the 1. But that's kind of deceptive because it's not really a 1. What's really going on here? We have 200s plus seven tens, plus three ones, and we are adding to that eight tens and four ones. And, okay, we add the ones to ones, three ones plus four ones is seven ones, no problem. Eight tens plus seven tens is 15 tens. And just like we say, 7 plus 8 is 15. Yeah, we get 15 of something because we are in the tens place and not in the ones place or the hundreds place. Ah! Um, we have 15 tens. And here's what you do. You split 15 tens into 10 tens and 5 tens. We leave the 5 tens behind. 10 tens happens to be the same thing as 100. So we're not really carrying a 1, we're carrying a 100. And, and when you look at that 15, this is 5 1s, this is 1 10, but it's a 10 in the 10s place. 10 10s is 100, and then 100 and 200 is 300s. Um, not so terribly, terribly exciting, but... Um, not everybody has been shown this and, and, and sees this. And the beauty of this whole system is, you know, 10 ones is a 10, 10 tens is a hundred, 10 hundreds is a thousand, 10 thousands is, is 10 thousand, and so on. It doesn't matter which column you're in, 10 of anything is one of the next. So that's why anytime you get a two digit number, when you add columns like this, the tens digit can pop over and t become um, a digit in the next column over. And finally, we could talk about subtraction, where you have like, I don't know, 201 minus 37 or something like that. Ah, oh, golly golly. Uh, what do we normally do? Well, what are we doing? This is 200s plus uh, no tens. I'll just say zero tens. We're adding, so it's the it's a zero tens. Zero is the nothing. Plus one, one. And we're subtracting from this three tens, and we're also subtracting seven ones. 
we're subtracting everything. I'll just leave them separately. Uh, right, 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 right. So you say, okay, what's one one minus seven ones? Well, that causes some trouble. So you try to borrow. Uh, there's nothing to borrow here. So what do you doing, really? When we um, we go over here, what do we, we? We borrow from the 2. We leave 1 behind. We make this a 10. And then we borrow from the 10 to make it a 9. And we bring 1 over here. What have we really done? We took 100 away. We leave 100 behind. And then 100 that, you know, this is 200 is 100 plus another 100. This 100 is the same thing as 10 tens. And when you add 10 tens to 0 tens, we get 10 tens. It just so happens that you can always, because it's 10 and because this is a one digit thing, you can always just put a little 1 in front of there. Now we've got 10 tens. And similarly, you could take away one of these tens, leaving behind 9 tens, and you know, plus 1 10, but 1 10 is 10 ones, and 10 ones plus 1 1 is 11 ones. And it's just a slick thing that you can just put the 1 in front. And it, the number system was, in fact, designed so that this would be convenient like that. And what you do, you say 11 minus 7 is 4 ones, and 9 tens minus 3 tens is 6 tens, and 100 minus nothing is 100. Um, and, of course, you would never do this out like this. Nobody would do this. But it is kind of useful to, um, to know where this is all coming from. And that's enough for today.